If the Secret Service were warned a good two minutes or so before this guy started shooting, why did the Secret Service not take a shot? And you might have noticed we've got our Alan Robertshaw here with the beautiful views behind us. And there's some very good reasons for that. And there's some UK cases and some US cases, which I was going to talk about in a minute. And so we thought we'd just give you a little overview as to why this is not some big conspiracy and why, in fact, there are some very good reasons for it. So first of all, there was a case I talked about in the UK. It was a disciplinary case from a police officer. And it was the question over, was it the criminal standard or the civil standard for self-defence that was applied in disciplinary cases? And it's a big difference, isn't it, Al? Because it is, because it's, it used to be that um, in civil proceedings, it matched the same as criminal, which was, what was your honest, even if mistaken, belief as to the situation? They changed that in civil proceedings to say, no, you must have a reasonable belief that you were under threat or somebody else was under threat, because this also includes use of force to protect other people. But much of this poor officer's surprise, they said, no, we're going to apply the civil standard to your disciplinary proceedings. Which makes it a lot harder, because... In a, sim in, in a criminal case, obviously, it's a very high standard of proof. On a civil case, it's balance of probabilities, therefore being more difficult to prove. So if you want to rely on mistake in civil cases, they make it more difficult. They say it's got to be a, it must be a reasonable mistake to make for somebody to make. Not just was it reasonable for you at that time, which is a bit of a balancing act. You know, how unreasonable was it? And therefore, was it reasonable for you to make that mistake, which you can't rely on if you're drunk, by the way, or otherwise intoxicated uh, voluntarily, mm -hmm. I might add. Um, you can't rely on a mistake for that. But in the civil standards, it's more difficult because it's got to be a reasonable mistake. And so that meant it was very difficult for this police officer. So the independent police complaint said we're going to apply the civil standard. And this went all through the courts and eventually the Supreme Court came back and pretty much agreed with that didn't they and they said yes it's got to be on the civil standard which is quite bad so coming to the point why was their observation for some two minutes having been informed by the public why was the shot not taken well that's because the officers who are actually going to take the shot and take a life it's not just a sliding scale it's all or nothing they take a shot they are going to take him out and so they've got to be sure not just someone else has tipped them off warned them told them perhaps this guy is going to do something because i think you said in your video Al, that he might have stood up with and started waving a flag or something well, and then got yeah. shot and that would be quite unfortunate yeah, wouldn't so, it? Because, yeah somebody sort of just waving a banner going yay trump 2024 and they shoot him. and then That's they take him out PR. that would look very bad and obviously they the, the secret service would have had to justify that and doubtless that would have ended up before disciplinaries and courts and whatever to say that that wasn't reasonable you obviously didn't have the proper belief that, or mistaken or not that that was right so they have to be sure and the way cases are going these days if they're not sure they end up before disciplinaries and you know worse still civil cases and worse worse still in criminal suits and it is the M, isn't it? I mean, it's the big, the big M, and the, the Emmerer, as yeah, you put it. Yeah, because I did my other video about like how the, you know, the police don't owe a duty of care to potential victims of crime. So if you're going to default to one position, which is, well, if I am wrong and he is a threat and he shoots everybody, I actually don't get into trouble. If, however, I do shoot him and it turns out he wasn't a threat. I go to prison for life. So perhaps, you know, you can, you know, that's at the back of their mind. And that's why they just perhaps pause to assess the situation. And certainly if I was there with the weapon to pull the trigger, then I would want to be sure. Mm. I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to rely on anything anyone else said. I would want to be sure in my own mind that that was absolutely right. And I think you said in your video, which we'll link below, so you yeah. must go and watch that because Al's done a very long, um, wait, well, it seemed long because it was it's, 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 it, long and interesting. I was sitting there watching it. It seemed long because we were sort of balanced on about two inches from the edge of a collapsing cliff. That's, that's <laughs> so every second, quite right, every second yeah. we were sat there felt a little, very little long. bit like some that are behind us. Actually, they're very beautiful, but um, we were sitting on the on the edge of those. But no, uh, listening to that case and um, being sure about what was going on, and those officers there, they they had to make that choice there and then, and it's an all or nothing choice based on what they believe, not just on what they're told. So we'll link that video below as well. A heli helicopter's going by as well now. That's the Coast Guard. <laughs> so they're probably going like, who are those 
two daft idiots standing all right on the edge of the cliff building a video. Yeah, we'll be back for you later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see you in a bit, Al. Yeah, um, so no, we'll link that below. Go and watch that. It's very interesting because it's, it's very detailed. And so for those that are saying, you know, why, why did they know so many minutes beforehand? Why did it take them so long to do anything? Because well, that's why he could have just stood up, started waving a flag or whatever. I mean, it's all a bit suspect and it's all a bit, mm. you know, why... Why did they not know about him? And it was that close. I think I read somewhere that it was 400 yards. Actually, it turns out it's like 400 feet, which yeah. is a big difference. It's it? a but, very but, big um, difference. But yeah, the article was obviously incorrect when I first read it. But that's why. Uh, they. It does beg the question as to why they didn't have it covered and why they didn't already have him. That's a separate question for a separate disciplinary, but not for the disciplinary of whether they no. actually took the shot or not. I think... That stands on its own. I mean, that's the irony that there'll be internal repercussions, no doubt, about this. But from a sort of legal perspective, there's, you know, no civil, you know, the the, the president or former president, as some people will insist, even though mm. he's actually president, you know, the, the, the Secret Service don't owe him a duty of care because it's not as if there's even a contractual one because he doesn't pick up the bill. Uh, so I know it sounds weird, but yeah, the Secret Service are as far as the civil law's concerned, completely in the clear on this one. Indeed. Go and watch Al's video, I'll link it below, and make sure you subscribe to him as well, because YouTube plays funny games. I had some people tell me the other day that they've been unsubscribed, even though they've been subscribed for years. So that's why I keep asking. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that sort of stuff. That helps the channel grow, and that's why we keep asking. But, uh, yeah, enjoy some of the views before you go. And, I'll get out of the way, because um, there's a really nice wheelhouse behind that's a lot nicer than me, so I'll move out of the way. It's nicer than me as well. Let's show you that.